हेलो एवरी वन टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज प्रोडक्ट स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन एंड प्रोडक्ट अडेप्टेशन ना वॉट इज प्रोडक्ट स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन प्रोडक्ट स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इज बेसिकली अ टर्म दैट इज यूज वेन अ कंपनी डिसाइड्स टू नॉट चेंज एनी स्पेसिफिकेशन इन देयर प्रोडक्ट एंड फील दैट देयर प्रोडक्ट इज रेडी टू बी ग्लोबली एक्सेप्टेड इन अदर मार्केट्स अदर देन द होम मार्केट इन विच दे वर ऑलरेडी डूइंग सो इट इज अ टर्म दैट इज यूज when a company is go is globalizing is emerging into new markets develop developing markets and it feels that its product needs no change and the standardization of that product will work in the new markets as well with new ethnicities with new religious beliefs with new legal adoptions everywhere the product will work what is product adaptation a product adaptation is basically when a company has to change or reform their product reinvent their product uh, maybe the physically or may they may have to change its branding its packaging so basically they need to change the basic way or outlook adapt their product or offering according to the new market and that is why the term product adaptation uh, adaptation comes in because it needs to adapt so that it is successful in that new market right now when we talk about adaptation there ca- there are three four factors involved in it right first is uh, the changing the product itself right so companies might change the product itself to suit the new market other things is uh, the uh, seeing where they want to uh, launch the product so a company might feel that there can be minor tweaks in the product but they also need to see what is the target market they want to capture in the uh, new place or the new country in which they are going then do they want to change the price of the particular product do they want to change the packaging do they want to rebrand the product and maybe come up with a com- new communication strategy you know in communication strategy again communication adaptation and communication standardization comes in right so how do they want to perceive or you know how they want to portray their brand to the new customers or what should be the brand recognition versus the competitors that's also important right so these three four factors are really important now coming quickly jumping into examples because that would be much more easier for you to understand uh, talking about product adaptation this mainly happens you can easily find it in various uh, you know food chains especially uh, if you talk about mcdonald's dominos dunkin donuts right all these brands change their menu according to the country in which they go right so in india since uh, people prefer veg uh, and then there are certain type of meats that are allowed here and not allowed right visa via america so they have to change the menu according to that and that's how they change the menu they change the branding they change the name of the products right pricing is different so everything changes similarly with dominos dunkin donuts so lot of companies do that right if i talk about non uh, food uh, examples uh, the major example that comes into my mind which i discussed in my previous video also do check that video out about reverse innovation right was ge so ge healthcare uh, they used to make very heavy and costly ecg machines right but they realized that in, in countries like india they need to reinvent they need to restructure that and that is when when they came out with a portable ecg machine that was uh, very cheap and that could easily be taken into rural areas and uh, used in tier 2 tier 3 cities because these countries don't want to because they they have to be economical right healthcare needs to be economical in these countries because people don't have that much money to spend like the developed countries right so ge is very good example procter and gamble so their diapers right so initially their communication about the technology about xyz stuff in their uh, baby diapers was really extravagant and these developing countries they realized that they don't need it right so what they did is they cut down on all those things and basically focused on what is the basic necessity of that market it and that is when when they reinvented and they restructured the their the diapers the diapers that they were offering and then they were instant success right now talking about product standardization standardization right now which brands ha, uh, have product standardization and they don't need to do much change in it biggest example is coca cola coca cola does not need to change their product because it is an accepted flavor they are offering what they are offering and they don't need to Uh, change the basic actual flavor obviously you find many flavors in countries like 
korea and japan where you have regional strawberry flavor matcha flavor uh, and va various flavors but you know the the core product product they never change right because that is a standard product throughout the world and even the branding even the color schema everything is uh, same for them similarly if you talk about uh, footwear brands like nike and adidas again they don't need to change their product it is a standard product and it will work everywhere they don't need to customize the product yes they might need to change the sizes in the production depending upon the average foot size of that particular region but yeah overall the product they don't need to change right so very good example right so i hope you are able to understand uh, these important companies which fall under product standardization and adaptation but you also need to understand there are company the among these companies there are companies that have even failed to initially recognize the uh, need for adaptation and uh, obviously then they realized it and changed it uh, let's see some examples so hallmark basically failed in a country like france because people of france at that time when they launched it they did not like the idea of gi giving gift cards uh, and you know uh, hallmark cards to their individuals because they preferred writing it on their own with their written you know written uh, hand cards that was uh, much more prevalent that time and they preferred that so hallmark failed in countries like spain coca cola failed they had to take out their 2 liter coca cola bottles because they realized at that time when they launched it many people the major population in spain did not even have the refrigerators at home that could hold 2 liter bottle right so they have to do it philips philips in japan have to bring the size of their coffee maker down because then they realized that the kitchens in japan are not that big to accommodate such a big size coffee maker machine so they reduced the size of that uh, before making such a mistake right after making such a mistake right so there are brands who have learned it the hard way but you need to realize that adaptation is really important because every country is different in the belief structure cultural structure ethnicity and uh, legal legalities right uh, purchasing power parity lot of economic factors demographic factors so a company needs to research a lot and then only enter the market and that's how uh this adaptation versus standardization comes to end and we'll discuss more uh, interesting videos more interesting topics please subscribe do like and share bye